Ooh, welcome back to M Hood Fishing. Almost stepped in the ants, trying to walk along a treacherous path here with rocks and ants. And yeah, you're right. Welcome to the moving water day. So you can't really tell at this spot that it is a moving water day, but it is in fact a moving water day. We're going to start here, but in a little bit, we'll go check out another spot where it is super obvious. So we're going to start out drop shotting a small soft plastic it's a swim bait, June bug and chartreuse on a size four mosquito hook. Water is a dirty, rusty kind of color. There are fish here. This is solar noon. We're here just around noon. Solar noon bite is starting, if not now, really soon. So there's rain on the way, right? There was a chance of rain today when I got up early this morning, around eight something. They had a 90 something percent chance on the day. But that has changed, well, it could change again. And yeah, we could be seeing rain. I kind of wanted this to be a two pronged day. This being the first session, but maybe not the first video I release. I might release the second session first and then the next day would be this session but it doesn't really matter this is what i'm doing i'm exploring down here on the solar noon bite seeing what i can do and then i'm gonna go do a catfish session to wrap up the day two videos right because tomorrow could be a wet one that i can't fish and the next day could be the same However, it could change. Could be a, that I can fish it tomorrow. So yeah, two things today, because we might have two days of rain. This day might get canceled because of that. Might get rained off here soon. Ah, uh, well, you know, that possibility is there. The cards are on the table, but probability is kind of low at the moment. Probability for catching is low as well, because look, the water is not that clean. It means artificials are going to be, but look at that. There's fish busting shad. There's always shad here because not so much in front of me, but out in the middle here is a good depth, 10, 12 feet or better. You see that? There's, just, there's always shad here because of that depth. And they're getting knocked. They're getting busted. But because of the water quality is dirty, probability is very low for catching with artificials it's not out of the question there is a way to sharpen that edge though and I got one of those ways in my pocket I might as well just break it out see there we go we can put on crappie bites or we could switch to night crawlers because I do have some of those see we'll just put one of these chartreuse crappie bites on and that will increase increase the probability yeah there's life baits getting hit like crazy but out there oh and that was close so that's that's good i have a better idea though this is the spot where it is super obvious that they're pumping this water is just trucking through here sometimes Sometimes it is a good thing. See, it's not super dirty right here like the first spot I went. There's fish here that I see, but it's mostly gar hanging out in this current. So it's not super dirty because it's coming out of this pond. And when I first cruised by here, I did see feeding going on. And it can't all be gar. It's not always like that but if you catch it right like early right early in the movement of this water when it first starts to move there will be a lot of feeding and there's a fair amount of feeding going on the problem is that I'm fishing this bait the wrong way I'm fishing it against the current well, it could still work but usually I would prefer to, to be fishing this with the current 
I've had it be far more productive that way with any bait, but we can fish the edges where there isn't so much. Oh, there was a hit right there. I don't know what that was, but something, maybe a little gar came up and slapped it. The other side where the pond is, it would be more ideal to be able to fish this, but it's choked, right? So you can't really fish it, fish this bait over here. There is a little bit of room right now, but not enough to, to do anything. You see, there's not a big depth here either. I'm gonna go ahead and come down here for you so you can see this water clarity. See, it's much cleaner coming out of here. There's something swimming right here against the current, right in here somewhere. But yeah, I think I will hang out in this area for a while, but the other side. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. This is really clean in here, but when we get right down here to where it truly connects with the bayou it's not so clean see clean water no clean water Let's see if anything's hanging out down in there so finally i have found some fish that are willing to bite and i can probably catch they're probably small as well but they're hitting this little swim bait without crappie bites, so. Oh, this is, uh, I'm on top of these two culverts. They come from the pond. What's funny is there are four culverts coming from the pond and only one has current coming through it. The one next to that has to have some current coming through it, but it, it's not apparent. These don't seem to have any current no significant current seems to work a little better with a, a crappie bite and no doubt you can tell the wind is picking up here and there it's got to be about a foot and a half deep right here it shallows up as it comes up towards me but these fish are hiding right where the wood is going down. Could be goggle eye. I've caught goggle eye from inside these pipes in the middle of the day because it's dark in there, right? Goggle eye, like it dark. Could be any kind of panfish. We'll drop. Oh, come on. And drop right here. I was getting more hits right in there. There we go. And we're in there. Oh, ho. the little guy. You know, maybe the, I would say red spotted. I saw a bit of the body. There we go. Definitely. Check that out. Oh, wrong angle. Yeah, you're right. That is a really beautiful red spotted. Really nice. Oh, all fired up. At least I caught a beautiful fish down here for this moving water day. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. So I'm over here just plunking around, right? Looking at stuff, checking stuff out. These culverts are completely plugged up. I don't think I'm going to be able to do much, but there is a bit of give here. There's got to be a just an absolute ton of this vegetation absolutely sucked in there and same goes for this one no wonder there's not a lot of current coming out the other end there's not a lot of current coming out of this one but there is some 
and I bet it is choked as well. I mean, just look at all the vegetation. This pond has gone real shallow and overgrown itself. My good deed of the day, I rescued Wilson, football head Wilson. Currently still trying to accomplish something on this first video because one red spotted is not going to do it. So shaky head, chartreuse, June bug, finesse worm. Water movement has slowed down significantly. Probably for the next, oh yeah, next, not sure what that was. Felt like a bite, but also could have been some kind of structure. Probably for the next 30 minutes to an hour, I'm going to focus on paralleling the bank in front of grass. Ah, that's no good. Oh, 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 it is good. It is good. It's good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, really insane when a bad cast gets a strike. Ah, oh, did you see that? So, how far did that fish run after that ordeal? Is he still in the area? Gotcha. I knew if I just kept focusing on the grass that I would find one. <laughs> I found one. Well, not my first bite though. I just found it amazing that I threw right into the weeds and something tried to take it. All right, little guy, bye. Fish is a fish. I kind of feel like appealing to the whatever aspect of the video right now, but I also feel like just catching bass or continuing to try. I'm a bit torn. Hmm. How about both, but a different location? Hi, look at you. Yeah. Gotcha. You're not very big, though. Ah. Woo. There's one for you. It's just now a few minutes till four. That's when I wanted to end this session and start another one. So calling it with the whatever fish, the night crawler on the drop shot. Yeah, you're right. Hey, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.